The sun, a universal source of energy, shines brightly to illuminate our environment. We feel the warmth and embrace the winds of change. SunGrow harnesses the gift of nature into clean power for all. We are a massive workforce equipped with years of experience and industry know-how who turn passion into action, who transform concepts into real-world solutions, who take market demands and create world-class service platforms. We are forerunners of technology. We are witnesses to the clean energy era. We are leading the global mission by offering high efficiency solutions to a wide range of users. We are a reliable partner. For us, reliability and excellence mean a commitment to continuous improvement, an unwavering aspiration for innovation, a meticulous testing process, a robust manufacturing capability. Full attention to detail ensures the reliability and efficiency of each and every product and solution. In order to feed our hunger of reaching customer success, we use technological innovation as the source of power in the pursuit of sustainable efficiency. Our goal is to replace the traditional fossil fuel model by perfecting new energy conversion technology to deliver clean energy to millions of households. We are committed to remaining a global leader in power conversion technology. Leading the era of efficient, clean electric power, accelerating a collective global mission of renewable energy transition. Together, we will embrace the future under our slogan, clean power for all. Good morning, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Innovation on the Edge. It is Max from SunGrow Marketing Team. Innovation on the Edge is the online event that introduces our cutting edge innovations. In today's event, we are going to update you our version of the market at first. Then, there will be our brand new hero, the CP series, which is designed for the CNI ESS segment. And before the end of the event, we will have a Q&A session. So we do encourage you guys to submit your questions by the Q&A box on the right side of the screen during the presentation. Besides, ladies and gentlemen, we also have some distinguished guests with us today. They are Hui Wu, head of APEC Energy Storage Business, and our ESS Solution Engineer, John and Wali. Time is limited. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Hui Wu to give us the general understanding of SunGrow and our version to the market. Thanks, Max. Can you hear me good? Great. Good day, friends of uh, SunGrow Power. Welcome to our product event. I know you guys are very excited. Can't wait to know more details about the energy storage solution. Um, but just hold, uh, bear with me for another 10 minutes also. Let's just, I just want to take you through, uh, revisit some aspects of some grow power, and also I want to share with you some of the uh, uh, trend about this industry. Um, some grow revisit, I just want to uh, use a remark from Bloomberg New Energy Finance. So Sun Grow is the world's most bankable inverter brand. It is ranked number one bankable inverter brand for uh, three consecutive years already. And it is ranked as number one supplier in the financed uh, projects sector. And uh, a brief history about SunGrow Power. So uh, SunGrow was founded by Professor Chow in uh, Hefei, China in 1997, 24 years ago. And um, in 2006, we started the global expansion. And we are a public company listed on the Shenzhen Stock Exchange. And we became the number one um, global inverter supplier in the year of 2015. 
and we have maintained the position ever since. So in the year of 2018, we started our first um, overseas uh, factory in India. And in 2019, we hit a milestone of um, 100 gigawatt of inverter shipment. Um, that was two years ago. Um, as of this year, 2021, I think the figure has been doubled. Uh, nevertheless, in 2020, we joined the club of um, global RE100. Um, that shows our commitment to um, social responsibility. We are committed committed to uh, we're committed to uh, more sustainable um, production, more sustainable way of doing business. So we have achieved significant growth in the last decade. Um, from 2020, 2010 to 2020, we have achieved um, a compound annual growth rate of 42.6 uh, percentage. And last year alone, we have shipped 35 gigawatt of inverter product uh, products over, uh, across the world. We are very much technology driven. Um, every year we spend roughly uh, from 10 to 8 percent of our revenue into the IND of our uh, our, our 6,000 something employees. Uh, 40 percent of them actually uh, with uh, with the research and the development. And uh, so far we have been granted more than 3,100 patents and counting. So that has been said, we are the world's largest inverter manufacturer. Uh, we have a capacity, annual capacity of 90 gigawatt, and of which 10 gigawatt is in our India uh, factory. And related to, to today's topic, uh, we have a annual production capacity of energy storage solution um, of uh, 10 gigawatt hour a year as well. So, and um, we can expand this, this capacity if it is required. So we are pretty much an international company. We have, uh, we have footprints in over 150 uh, countries and uh, we are very much service focused. We have service outlets in more than 200 um, places. And also we have more than 20 um, international subsidies as well. So um, that means that um, if you are interested in, in our products, it uh, doesn't matter where you are, um, whether you are in Asia Pacific, United States, Americas, Europe, or even in uh, Africa, um, you, you, can, you, you can always can, can find somebody that in your region that you can talk to. Um, so a quick summary, a snapshot about what we have achieved. Um, as of today, we have done um, 182 gigawatt of um, uh, projects, or, or we have shipped um, 182 gigawatt of inverters uh, worldwide. Um, some of the projects that we have done are very significant. Some of them are even landmark uh, projects. So I don't have time to go to the details, but some of them you can find from our website as well. And related to our today's topic, um, for the energy storage solutions, uh, as of 2021, we have shipped over 800 megawatt hours of um, projects or products across different countries. Um, one thing I want to mention is that um, of all those uh, projects that we have done, we have received nothing, zero accident report. So that means that we have we really have put the uh, safety and reliability in a very important position. So energy trend, um, in the interest of time, I uh, just don't want to go to the details. I just one thing I want to, to say is that um, 2021 today, this year, um, it is forecast the market size will double from it was last year. Um, it is a significant increase, but compared to what we're going to get, um, it is still at the early stage. Um, it is forecast that in the year of 2024, the market size will be tripled from it is right now. And in 2025, number will be, um, will be four times um, of it is right now. So as you can tell, there's a lot of opportunities there. The potential is huge. 
um, not a, what a work for us to do as well. As for conclusion, um, I just want to take one step back. People often say that the world is changing fast than it was ever be. Um, particularly the energy sector is the case. You know, a decade ago, even a few years ago, um, the way that people, that the way that we generate energy and the people consume energy uh, hadn't changed much compared to, to it was like, it was from end of 19th centuries. Um, however, the way that we use energy right now is significantly different from it was. You know, coal power, power, power plants, transmission lines, distribution lines. It is very different right now. Um, the energy, the, the, the way that we use energy right now uh, becomes much more um, sustainable, greener, more uh, economic, and also more decentralized. And it is forecast, um, even the case for the next two or three decades. Right. And apart from that, people like us in this industry also see another trend clearly. That is the renewables, the wind and solar, they just can't do the job by themselves. They need support from energy story solutions. That's why today we are very excited to bring you this uh, state of art design um, cutting edge um, energy storage solution. Um, in the next 20 minutes also, my colleagues will give you more details on that. Um, but this is not yet. Um, Sungrow as a company, our engineers are really working hard. Um, they are working, they are developing other products as well. Products are most suitable for um, residential and utility scale segments. Stay tuned, um, we will bring them to you um, when the time is right and so on. That's it for today. Um, thank you for your time. I'll pass the microphone to my colleague. Have a good day. Thank you so much for providing such informative presentation. With the ramping up of renewable energy, energy storage system has become one of the most important solutions, for example, for peak shaving, grid safety, and so on. The same is true for PV power plant. So PV plus ES will be a powerful combination to facilitate the development of renewable energy in the future. To do so, a good product and solution were required. Now let's welcome John to introduce our new hero, the brand new CP series. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is John, solution engineer from Sungro APAC team. Today, it is my honor to stand here to give the introduction of commercial and industrial ES solution from Sungro, ST129CP-50HV series. For ES solution, normally we will have different kind of application scenarios, like we have demand management, we have peak and valley arbitrage, and also some customer requires maximizing the self-consumption, like they have some PV and also wind energy, then we can do the maximizing self-consumption option. And also the system can be used as a backup power to face any kind of blackouts, and also our system can work with the PV energy or DG to find up a microgrid for the system like of some application remote area or some other weak grid conditions. Some kind of situation like difficult for the installation, security, electricity bill, pressure, and unstable grid, which will make the customer to have some challenges and then energy storage system is coming. Some kind of system in the market, we are focusing in the simple and the security part, and some others will focus in the intelligent and ec economic part. So for any kind of system, they have their own advantages. And today, Sungro will give you an option with both of them. This is a ST129CP-50HV series, which I will call it CP series later. And this system is highly integrated with safer and reliable function and also with intelligent economic features integrated in, in the system. This, in this diagram, we can see in the left, this is a grid of 400 volt. 
the, all the load and PV and other energy and also ESS are coupled in the AC part. So actually, our system can work with different energy, like PV and all. And also, we can set a meter in the grid port to measure how much power has buy in from the grid and also how much power is selling to the grid. And this can help the EMS to can maintain the system, what kind of mode it is going to use. And above, we have an iSolar cloud. This is going to do the monitoring and the configuration for the system. If customer has some other requirement, like they have their own SCADA, then we can work with a third-party EMS to transport the data to the customer SCADA, and also that's available. Let's go through the features of the system, highly integrated. As we can see here in the, this page, we can see how we have battery, switch gear, PCS, transformer, LC, and EMS, and also HVAC to maintain the internal temperature. Any kind of components has been damaged or any failure happens to these components, we can do switch or swap. That's very easy. We can take it and then remove with the new one, and then the system can go back to work normally. So actually, this is very easy for customer to shorter the operation and the maintenance time. Secondary, for configuration is a very important thing, as we cannot define to have many kind of different capacity for the different solution. So actually, a modular design for the system will help the installer, the dis distributor, to do the system configuration for the customer. We have PCS of 50 kilowatt and then battery from 101 to 129 kilowatt hour. So actually we have different option to minimize. We will, can have a 50 kilowatt PCS working with a 101 battery bank. That's a two hour solution. And also we can work with a 50 kilowatt plus with a two battery container maximized to 258 kilowatt hour. That's five hour solution. So this range is from two hour to five hour. And also the power range is from 50 kilowatt to one megawatt. For different kind of condition, like we have off-grid application, then we, have, we can up, um, parallel six units. So the system will be from 50 kilowatt to 300 kilowatt. And for on-grid application, we can maximize with uh, system 20 units to connect in parallel. So the system will be 50 kilowatt to one megawatt. And here, for system design, how we are going to do the protection degrees, this is also a constant in the beginning of our design. Indoor design or outdoor design, that's our question. But finally, we choose the outdoor design. As we cannot expand, expect the customer to have a lot of aerial in, indoor aerial to install, maybe like even to one megawatt system, that's incredible. So outdoor design is a very good option. And also, this is also easy for the transportation in the, and the installation. With the 30 ton truck, we can transport seven sets of 50 kilowatt to our solution. And this system is more. We don't need to hoist. We just need a forklift, and then we can do the transportation and the installation. So that's very easy for customers to save the cost. And this communication interface, as we can see here, the Middle part is LC, which is integrated in the system. It will do communicating with the battery, PCS, FSS, contractor, HVAC, SPD. Then the customer can know, can have a lot of all the data from the battery, all the components inside, and transporting the data to the EMS or third-party EMS. Then customer can view, do the monitoring, and also do the configuration to the system by iSolar Cloud or other SCADA. So this is very flexible. Safe and reliable. This is always the biggest concern for any kind of electronic devices. As the basic thing is that we need to make sure the system is safe, and then we will have advantages, and then we will have profits. For the system outdoor cabinet design, we designed the system with IP54 protection degrees and maximized to C5 anti-corrosion level. The system is designed with L inlet from the top with the S-shaped L duct and also G3 dust proof cotton. And also all the screws of the system of the cabinet 
we are using Q235 carbon steel, which is preservation and also with uh, also galvanization. And the cabinet of the system, we are using the galvanized steel. The painting thickness is over 120 mil me. So actually, the system is very good for any kind of area. Like we have some application in Shuanghu, the attitude is higher 5,000 meter, extreme low temperature to minus 30 degrees. So the system can work even under 25, uh, minus 25, even to 30 degrees, the system can work normally. And also the anti corrosion level can make sure the system can work in highly corrosive environment on the island in Bahamas. And also in Tibet, we have application veil with very strong wind and sand, the system is also working normally. And in Arizona, we have an application in ambient temperature higher to 47 degrees, and the system is also working normally. So from minor 30 to 47 degrees, we still have application to prove that the system will be okay to work under this condition. And the thermal design, this is always very important for battery. As we all know that battery will degrade very fast if the temperature is very high. So professional thermal design is required to maintain the battery temperature and pe battery performance. Our system is, can maintain the battery operating temperature at 25, 23 degrees plus and minus 5 degrees. So actually, this can maintain the battery performance and <coughs> the uniform, uniformity of the battery. And also, the smart air cooling design can make sure the PCS with longer lifetime. For FFS, normally customer will require an important information on this. Our FFS can guarantee the system's safety and reliability. When fire break out, the system will be sensitive to heat and automatically extinguishing. And the extinguishing will be done by the HFS, HFC 227EA clean agent. And this clean agent extinguisher will, doesn't need any additional power to operate. So you don't need any other power source or UPS to run this FSS. And also this system is with eight to 12 years lifetime, free of maintenance. So customer doesn't need to spend more cost in the maintenance and in the long lifetime. And VSG mode, this is very important, and also this is very good to enhance the grid stability. As most of the condition when we install the ESS system, <coughs> normally that is due to the system, the weak, the weak grid, or sometimes we don't even have a grid. So for this condition, when we switch on the heavy load, and then the frequency will drop. So we will have a virtual synchronization genset gen mode to make sure the system will do the virtual interior control to make sure the system will, the system grip stability will be always stable, and then to maintain the whole grid stability. And intelligence and also economic is very important for every cu customer. As when we do investment, we always expect the payback. This is a basic. For integra integrated AMS function, we can do different kind of mode selection, like we can do uh, demand management, and also we can maximize the self-consumption. If we have PV, we can store the power in the daytime and then discharge in the nighttime. And also we can do peak and valley arbitrage. As some in, in some area, the electricity bill has very big price difference in the different time, and then we can do the peak and valley arbitrage in that time. And then we can get the profit back, payback from this kind of uh, application mode. And also, the system can be used as a backup of more power. If some kind of situation like in some area, the grid is not very stable, sometimes it will be, uh, it will get to grid failure and then we don't have any power. But we still have some important load to be powered. Then we can use our CP series to power up the load. And also, for microgrid, in some other conditions, like when we are using the system in the microgrid application, there will be some other energy, like DG, like PV, or some other wind energy, that's also okay. Any kind of other source from 400 volt AC, we can synchronize with them. And this is the maximizing self-consumption mode. 
In the daytime, we have sufficient PV power, and the PV system will supply the power to the load, and the excessive power will be charged to the battery. During the insufficient PV time, then the battery will discharge to support the load. And after the SOC reach to a low level, like the DOD we are setting, then the grid will join in to support the load. This is on and off grid mode. For backup power, we can work the system under a condition like if the grid always blackouts or failure at any time, then we can use it as a backup power UPS function. And also, we can also support other multiple energy sources like PV, DG, or wind energy. That's also okay. So for customer side, even you don't have a grid, we can also use our CP series to have a power system on your site. Peak and valley arbitrage. This is a level we can set in peak value, peak value and valley value. So the system will automatically charge the power when the demand is greater than, uh, is lower than the peak value value, and also discharge when the demand is greater than peak value. So we can get profit from the system. So a customer can get payback by the calculation. Remote monitoring and operation and also maintenance is very important for customer to view and check what the status of the system. Group, plant, KPI management. As KPI is important, when we schedule the system, we have a payback schedule too. So we need to know how much power has been generated, how much power has been used, and then how much profit we have get payback. Geographic information system is for our, us information to know that if the system is working the same as the ge geography information. And also, real-time alarm management will help customer to know any kind of alarm at any time, anywhere. So customer can know what kind of fault it is, and then if required, and then we can set a person to decide to do the maintenance or the operation to make sure the alarm will be fixed and data processing and analyze, and also group level, plant level reports can help customer to know all the information of the system and give the reports to the leader team to make sure the system has been working normally or the whole team is working normally. And quick troubleshooting can help the customer to get detailed of the fault and then he will know how to fix it even without the help of professional service people. From all above, we can know that the system is combined with different features like high integrated, safe and reliable intelligent. Modular design can help customer for the system design and also system operation. For design part, that's for the di distributor and dealer. And also for the operation part, that's for the service people and the installer or the oper operator. And also for the outdoor cabinet can help customer to do a lot of application. We don't need to limit the system only in indoor area or some area with low humidity. That's not a problem. We can install the system even in very high humidity, corrosion area, corrosion area, or some other high temperature, high wind, high sand, no issue. The system can work there. And the uniform interface can help the customer to work with different protocol or different EMS and then check and also monitoring and also configure the system. For reliable file protections, this is important for the customer or the client or the users. So actually with our system, customer doesn't need any other power, doesn't need the maintenance during the lifetime of eight to 12 years so the system will be reliable and for a long time without any uh, focus or the cost. And also professional thermal design can help to maintain the battery uh, working temperature to make sure the battery performance will always be very good and then the degradation will go slow, fewer and fewer and then the whole system will keep the guaranteed scheduled profit payback. And the VSG mode just now said we can guarantee, we can maintain the grid to enhance the grid stability to make sure the system will be very stable at any time to make sure the system even when the heavy load is turned on. And then we have IP54 and C5 corrosion level. To, then we have a lot of 
area location to choose. We don't need to worry about if that's a uh, coastal area, no issue. If that is high temperature area, no issue. Even sand, high sand area, no issue. So system is very flexible for this location choosing. And integrated EMS function, this is an option. We can use SunGrow EMS and also third party EMS. So the final information can be checked and monitored and configured by the customer. And multiple operation mode also configured by the customer option. So we can choose any operate mode to make sure the profit can pay, get paid back. And also remote monitoring and operation and maintenance is always our concern. We have already made sure the system intelligence and also economic. So for all the customer are going to concern, all the points they are going to concern, we have already concerned. So this is SunGrow system, which is ST129-50HB CP series. So customer doesn't need to require any other kind of uh, concerns. We have already concerned or. And this system is process accessible. So if you want anything more detailed of the system, please contact with the sales of your local area. Thank you. Thank you, John, for the deep dive. I believe this series, which is highly integrated, reliable, and really intelligent, will be your excellent helper in the future. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. The time we set for the event is almost run out. In the next few minutes, our ESS solution engineer, Wali, will help to go through this question that you submit. Hello, Wali. Hi, Max. Uh, there are so many questions. But given the time limitation, we cannot answer them all. So my colleague will help to pick up some questions. So can you please to put some questions on the screen? Okay, thank you. So let's start from these questions from the first one. Yeah. Yes, uh, I noted that they are asking about the advantages of SunGrow ST129 compared to uh, these competitors in this market. Okay. So SunGrow ST129 SP was modular design. Yes. Got scalable configuration, widely ranged from 50 kilowatt to 1 megawatt. Well, that suitable for a lot of commercial ESS projects, especially for factory self-use, such as energy shift and microgrid system. Compared to other competitor products, they are not that flexible and much bigger size. I think this will be optimal for a lot of small size or medium size factories. Yeah, thank you, Wally. Uh, I noticed that you just mentioned about the, uh, the products applications in the factory and also uh, in the microgrid. So what about the, uh, uh, the data support off-grid mode? Okay, so uh, definitely it is in off-grid mode. Now in this released version, it support up to six set of BESS parallel in upgrade mode. Another version support up to 20 device parallel. AC coupling will launch later. Okay, thank you. I noticed that there are also some uh, audience asking about the design of the battery cabinet. So what about the design of this battery cabinet? So the Sangro battery storage is a modular design and the battery pack can simply and be pushed into rack like drawer. Electrical interface and communication interface are located at the front plate of the battery pack to be operated and maintained easily. The pre-assembled pre compact design and the necessary integrated safety component allow for quick installation and low installation effort. Yes, thank you. Uh, there are also some questions asking about the monitoring system. So does this CP support uh, remote monitoring? Okay, well, with Sangro uh, cloud technology, mm -hmm. it can remotely monitor the operation status of the equipment and switch operating modes. We can view fault data and alarm information on the monitoring screen. Yeah. Uh, Another question is, you know, when we mentioned about the lithium battery uh, product, there are a lot of concern about the safety. So what about the safety of this CP series? Okay, so first of all, Sangro has more than 800 megawatt hour ESS 
shipment in the year 2020 and safety accident is zero. We are quite confident in our energy storage system design. Yes. It has IEC 62619, IEC 62477, UN 38.3, PEA Thailand certificates. And we integrated fire suppression equipped with FM 200 or NOVEC 1230 with an advanced non metal pressure vessel design, it can release gas immediately. Uh, there are also some questions asking about the EMS. Uh, so, Wally, can you please help to give some depictions of this EMS? Okay. Sangro EMS 200 CP has the function of black flow prevention, demand management, peak shaving, self-consumption, off-grade operation, excess eye solar cloud, etc. Customer also can use third 40 EMS. Yeah, that's quite compatible with this uh, Yeah, product. sure. Yes. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is the end of this Q&A session. And thank you, Wally, for the support. Ah, welcome. Yeah, thank you. Time flying quickly, ladies and gentle. We have to put an end to the event and thank you for your company. For these questions that haven't been answered, our sales and take will reach you later by the email that you use for registration. And for more webinars with targeted language to intro CP series, please stay tuned on our social media or on our newsletter. And thank you. See you next time.